one. Hi, I'm Hi Hava the Homesteader, and this is my papa, Homer the Homesteader. And we're back with more IKEA furniture for my new apartment, but soon will be my apartment with Hubby the Homesteader. All right, I have a, you're taking the lead on this one. Why don't you get us started with the IKEA directions and show so us some important things. So now we've got things. Poang, which is a chair. It says, this one doesn't say you need a buddy to make it, but. But I'm here for you anyway. It does say you should use a screwdriver and not a power driver. There should be something soft on the floor to keep you from breaking the chair. And if you have any questions, you should call Ikea. And it that says, comes with a handy dandy fellow a phone, phone list from different places. I think this just says care and cleaning instructions. Oh, okay. I thought it was a phone list for everywhere in the world. But they don't have hillbilly on it. Only no. English. And it's hillbilly stead again there. Hillbilly stead again there. Which is a mixture of hillbilly, hillbilly, Michigander, and homesteader. I came up with that word all on my own. This was back in the traveling back and forth from Texas and Michigan moving stuff days. And I had a little bit too much time on my hands. Some people have said <laughs> that if you can come up with words like hillbilly stead of gander, you know what hillbilly stead of gander speak? What do hillbilly stead of gander speak? What do Swiss Swiss people speak? Switzerlish. You speak hillbilly stutter ganderlish? You got it. Where did that come from? When Hahaba the homesteader was in third grade, third or fourth grade, she had a friend who used to live in Switzerland, and she was very excited. She came home and told Homer the homesteader, "I got a friend in Switzerland. They speak Switzerlish." My friend told me that they speak Swiss. Well, you made up Switzerland. She speaks the language there. Which is Switzerland. Look, it looks like we got an extra washer. We got an extra plastic washer. Why would it be plastic? But we got all the pieces. Thank you, Ikea. All right. Plus one, just like on the dowels. So, Ikea, as an improvement in your cost controls, you maybe ought to want to talk to your washer counter and your dowel counter because they're giving us extra ones and we really appreciate it, but it'll keep down your cost. So. Okay, so you got these pieces, which I think are the back. All right, and it shows you here, number one, there's some difference on how you put them. It should be. The bows away from the side with the screws, so the bow goes away from the screw hole. I see. And in keeping with our tradition of safety, we're gonna put that there on something soft. Put this up here. So what I think that there is telling us is make sure you put this towards the screw hole is away from the bend. Is that what you see? It is. And it looks like this one with the special goes in number two from the end that's not got a notch in it. So this would be the right spot for it. Perfect. You don't even need tall homesteader. You might call homesteader in here. But <coughs> you don't even need Homer to homesteader. Now you gotta be careful these days coughing in public. Boy, you get the evil eye on the black rail train when you cough. I had to teach Hubby the homesteader he had to stop coughing, because the whole time I knew him, he cough, cough, cough. Recently, he uh, got better. We got four times, oh, so we'll put these, and it's uh, the ones with the seven on the end, the shorter, thinner ones. Yeah, yeah these. Not the blue ones. The ones that. And it looks like after we screw them in on one side, then we gotta put them in on the other side, and it probably has to do with lining things up. And if you hand me that there uh, super duper hexagonal Allen wrench. This one's shaped different from the other one. Yeah. I think there's probably more than one size on it, maybe. Or just because of the layout of this deal. 
Now I'm having a hard time getting that second one started. I'm not sure why, but maybe you can get it going. Yeah? Yes, sir. Look, you're better than you. Look, the student has become the master. It's I master. think I just have a little bit smaller fingers than you makes it easier for me to get in uh, tiny spaces. You're more dextrose. Dextrose, I think, is a kind of sugar pepper. Oh, okay, you got a little bit better digital dexterity. There we go. There you go. Not dextrose. And this is going to work out perfectly. If you got that one started, I'm going to swap ends. And I can go over here and you can go over there. Alrighty. So, the light rail here in Jerusalem, I have been finding a pleasure to ride. It sure is nicer than sitting on the bus. Yeah, and speaking of buses, I noticed, and you probably already know this, is that uh, there's a bus stop right out here in front of your house. Yeah, they get mad if you try to pull in the parking lot when they try to leave. Aha. Uh -huh. There is about four buses parked out there waiting for their next route. It seemed they were out of service for a break or something. Yeah, that's the 77, the Givatas Farfatit, also known as... French Hill, look. Uh Aha. -huh. That's my neighborhood, Papa. That is French Hill. I noticed the other day that, uh, the other day today when I walked over there to evaluate the bus, busage and, and find that bus stop for you, that's the little blue ones. Do yes. they all have blues they on them? They do all have blues on them. Huh, I thought the blue differentiated one from the other. That'd be smart of them. But... You want to try the next one? I'll go for this one. There's a, seems to be some kind of alignment issue. All right. Yep, that one's not quite far enough in. So, what we're going to try I'm going to push on this, and you try and... Did that get it in there? Not quite. Let's see if we can... Well, I can see the holes lined up. Maybe it's got to take a little... Oh, I got this one started. Nice. Then we should be good on this one, because once you get three or four, you should be pretty good. So I noticed that there's a spectacular view over French Hill, looking out into some valleys outside of Jerusalem. And that happens to be the way we came up. When you look down there that street and the light rail goes down there, I noticed that's the way we went to the Dead Sea. Mm. Or at least that we came back from the Dead Sea. So you got that, we need the next piece is the one with the so we're through instruction four now kind of like making legos nice and it looked like we're gonna put that end over there this is pretty cool the way this goes together i'm always amazed at the engineering that went into ye old ikea furniture ikea furniture okay and this i think we make this easier we're gonna turn it this way Notice how we are effectively using that their cardboard to keep it safe. I think that just showed you it's not the small ones we used already. Yeah, there's no more. Now, I don't know about you, but I think having somebody hold this is much more fantastic than trying to do it by yourself. I thing. And then a hobbit homesteader. I think that this is a fantastic looking chair. It will be nice for your new home. It was Hubby the Homesteader's favorite when we went to our key yesterday. Nice. And it's amazing to me always how they figure out how to get these things in such a small box relative to its assembled size. They nice. have mastered the art of the flat pack. I mean, I, mean, I can pack farm Prius. Let me tell you, I can get stuff in there. I think there's a piece of Eden video out there where Bobby Bison and Homer the Homesteader go through unpacking one. I don't know if that's been edited and put together for production yet. I know we made it and we set everything out that Homer got into the farm Prius and it was pretty amazing. 
But I'm just saying that Ikea may outdo me as far as getting stuff into a tight space. Well, I would wager a bet, Mr. Homesteader. Uh huh. But they got a whole team working on how they can reduce costs by packing into the smallest possible shipping, shipping container and best shelf space and all that jazz, huh? Now, you want to hear something really cool about Ikea in Israel? I do. I they do. have a synagogue in the Ikea. I know why that is. Why is that, Homer? Why do you think it is first? I know, but I want to hear what your opinion is. I think because every time I go in Ikea, I'm there for about a week, I may need to stop and worship. Well, <laughs> really it's because here in Israel, we got lots of Jews, including me. And, uh... Our men folk, you see, they gotta go pray in our synagogue three times a day. Yeah. So those uh, nice folk in Ikea that are working there, also they gotta go diving. They uh -huh. gotta pray. So that's there for the employees it's to for pray. The employees and also they share it with the customers. Nice. I just thought it was because it took you a week, a month of Sundays, a month of Sabbaths to get out of there. Okay, it looks like the, the next job is to turn it on it. Side. side and we need the, the shorter of the two long screws and I think this is the part that goes next all right and I'd wager a guess that that's even the right one all right but I might be mistaken let's try that one there's a trick to this. Okay, it looks like this part goes up the bottom. But then I would wager that the other one was the right one. And right. I think that's supposed to be some sort ah, of an arm. One's an arm. Uh, this part I think goes, yep, 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 yep. Mm. Let's see. The part with. Good thing this doesn't have any language in it. Uh, so we got one here, one there. Can you. It looks like the part that's on the outside is supposed to have less holes, so it is this one. There we go. Well, I have. I'm good at you stuck with me all that. There you go. We may have had to condense and put some pressure on that thing. How's that supposed to work? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'll let you look at the instruction. There's something flat goes under this flat. Oh, it goes on the bottom but there's screws on the bottom goes on the top okay it says flip it over there's some washers going in this gets this okay this and then one of them ah there's a bunch of holes in here that's that is the washer go in there? Mm, no, or it goes it? here. Uh, Maybe let's put this one in first. Maybe we needed a bigger, softer pad. Whoops. Uh -oh. oh, good okay. thing we have an extra washer. I want to thank that IKEA washer guy. But my question is, dear, Yes. There are three different holes here. Yes. How do you, I'll hold this. How do we figure out which hole it goes in? I was thinking we should put this on first and then we can figure out which hole it'll fit. All right. Those washers are cantankerous. Homer, I think it goes in that one. That is looking very probable. It looks like it's gonna lay back quite a ways. It looks like it's gonna lay back there quite a ways. 
And uh, how you doing up there? Oh, wait. But wait, there's more. There's a piece we were supposed to put in somewhere. We didn't say to do it yet. Oh, that's nine. We're still on eight, sir. I skipped ahead. I skipped ahead. Okay, now we got these. All right, and those get the... They got the devils already pre-hammered. But, is that where that whole thingy goes in there? On the side? These things are receivers for the bolts. Yes, that is where the... Yep. And it goes in here. And it got a little screw slot. So you can adjust it this way. But we don't want to put that one in yet. <laughs> Neither one well, of them wants to stay in. What we're going to do here is we probably want that hiding towards the back. Uh, uh, there we go. Now, put this in. Whoop, we got to get that in there. So you got the screw side out and the screw side up. You get it? Mm -hmm. Perfect! We'll figure this here out sooner or later. Way to go, Ahava! And we've got another one somewhere. Right there. And it goes back here. Like so, Homer? Huh? Like so. Yep. You know what? I got this on the upside down because we probably want the hardware showing to the floor and not to the ceiling. You think? That's what it looks like. What if we scoochy scooch? Yeah, we'll turn. There we go. While you got that, I'm going to get these pieces together. A little bit out of the way. And... Ah! Yes, it's, it's not catching. It's because it wasn't lined up. I think it's because you gotta flip the thingy over. There's two, yeah, flick it, flip it over 180 degrees. I think the screw's too short. What's that? Can I have a different screw, please? Does that mean we use the long screw somewhat more than we're supposed to? Look, we got longer screws and shorter screws. Means I use the longer screw somewhere I wasn't supposed to. Uh, no, we got two longer screws and one shorter screw left, so I think we're good. I think the longer screws go in these here parts up here, and the shorter screw right there. Ah. And you were trying to put the shorter screw in the longer screw hole. You want to hold that? I'll flip it so that I think we'll have it just about where you can go. And oh, I need that little spacing thing. I got it. And the shorter screw. No, no, I need the little. A little what? round two-sided thing. No. no. This thing. Oh, the, this thing. Ah. The metal dowel. You hand me that worship. You got the worship? I do. There you go. That thingy. That doesn't always work. I've noticed several times. Don't put that in yet. Got a little pressure on that. Thingy is a very interesting word. Doesn't so much help you know what time it. Unless you just happen to know or guess right. Except I didn't know what else to call it. I know. Metal dial, I might call it, but I wouldn't have thought of that immediately. I have to admit. Before you get those, this has got a little binding. What if I... Where's the screwdriver? Uh, Allen wrench thingy. There we go. 
This is why you don't use electric screwdriver Allen wrench thingies. Because you might have. Uh... Over tighten it. Now, there you go. You got everything else lined up. You want to swap me the uh, pieces parts for the driver. And we'll get this sucker right in there. Look, we are becoming IKEA furniture. If you need some help putting your IKEA furniture together, and you're in Jerusalem, call our Hive of Homesteaders. And if you happen to be somewhere in the United States and want a house sitter and an IKEA furniture putter together or garden planner or something like that, call Homer the Homesteader. We can both be reached through the PC Eden Homestead on YouTube. And you can find Homer the Homesteader on Facebook. And you can also find Peace of Eden Homestead on Facebook. Give us a shout. Give us a like. If you like our content, share it or not. Share our antics and adventures with as many people as you can. Because someday we want to be famous. All right, I have a homesteader. Give her a try. If it falls apart, you don't want me falling on your floor. It'll crack that thing. Well, this is quite a nice chair, and I see why. Hubby Homestead, I liked it so much. All right. Thanks, Ikea. Thanks, Ahava. Peace, love, and togetherness. Just so you lack update on property.